Hello, I'm Jody Wolf, and you're watching Exposed, January 14, 2013, 2.01 a.m., Birmingham, Alabama. Part 2, Shaken to the Core, If You Only Knew. I will read the very last sentence of Part 1, and then I will go on to Part 2, and uh, kind of remind you where we left off. So before I tell you who they are, let me say once again, you know them, but you never knew them. That'll make sense in a moment. Bear with me. These are not human entities. Some call them greys. Some call them reptilian. Some call them Anunnaki. So now you know where I'm going. They are what we call aliens. But since there really are no such thing as aliens, they are the fallen angels in their creations. Okay? Um, that's why they don't carry any of our DNA. And um, in a moment, I'm going to tell you a little bit about them that make you will make you understand kind of what it's about among other things so anyway um it is said between three and four percent of human have been taken aboard these ships and things done to them and humans brought back i believe it also uh, they say that between four and five percent of them walk among us daily and I believe that that is one in 20 that you may run into or deal with every day but they don't carry human DNA they're far outside of of, of our light and when I say our light away from us we're like we're the salt we are christians and we have the holy spirit in us and the holy spirit is the light that prevents them from coming to fruitation or to power but there's things they want it's not money so um as long as the holy spirit is the restrainer then you and i won't know them and until he has been taken out of the way, he, Christians, we will not know who the new world order leader will be. We won't know his name. He will be the Antichrist. And we know clearly because the Bible tells us this. He is not of our DNA either. They can be among us only in our likeness. Otherwise, we would be freaked out to be walking around these hideous things. And um, the offspring of these are called, I'm going to tell you something now that's going to make you think a little bit. You've never heard this. You all have heard of the Illuminati, the elite, the Bilderbergers, the, the um, Rockefellers, the, the Illuminati. They are the offspring. And the Illuminati aren't just one family. There are many families. Illuminati are many, but in many groups. They're there, and these are the ones that we, actually you've never seen too many of them because they're so secretive when they go to meetings, so really we don't know who they are. But the Illuminati are the enlightened ones, but they're the offspring of these who do not carry human DNA. So now, if all this is true, then why don't they just come and take us over and be done with it? 
Well, once again, they cannot do that. And they cannot do that simply because the Holy Spirit restrains them. And that's biblical, very biblical. So for now, they have no need to come because their plan is not quite worked out. It will be soon. And uh, they do not want your money. They don't want my money. They passed along secrets to the Illuminati, to the Bilderbergers, and to all these people that spread secrets to others. Hey, for all I know, Bill Gates, somebody gave him the secret of Microsoft. You never know. Henry Ford, somebody may have gave him the secret of building an engine. No one knows. But keep in mind, they don't want your money. They like to make people wealthy because when they make people wealthy, they own them. They own the wealthy because the wealthy took the bow off. Just like our senators and our congressmen that went at the fiscal cliff and passed a tax bill on us but two hours before they signed the tax bill, they they took a raise. Money. It's all about money. Period. Nothing more. Money. But what the Illuminati gets out of it is handing over to the Antichrist the platter with our head on it. They don't want money. They want you. They don't want money. They want everything that God loves. They don't want money. They want to destroy God's creation. They don't want money. They want to be worshipped. Keep that in mind. As I said, they will come and this time they'll show you who they really are. They are the Sumerian alien origin they are the fallen angels who have created some ugly things revelations chapter 9 verse 6 during those days men will seek death but will not find it they will long to die but death will elude them death will flee from them Luke chapter 21 verse 26. Now think about this one. Only something horrible would cause this verse to be written in the Bible. Only a horrible thing could do that. Luke chapter 21 verse 26. Men's hearts will fail Men's hearts will fail from fear and for looking toward those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven to be shaken. The verses I just mentioned, there's many more, but these two are, are hardcore warnings. They tell you that it's so bad and you're so afraid, fear, you're trying to kill yourself, but you won't die. You won't die. You're going to have to take it. And then men's hearts will fail them, but they still won't die. They'll fail them because they are in horrible, agonizing, terrorizing fear that is real and there's nothing to stop it. Read those verses. People, this is coming. This is here. The second I hear the first trump, I'm gone along with the rest of the Christians. The second trump, you will hear. And woe to those who are on earth in those days. Jody Wolf, expose.